promptly is. Copyright. Respect your copyright. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. No, this is actually important for you and me. Okay. Because we play, like, other people's games that they've made. <laughs> Only upload videos that you made or that you're authorized to use. This means don't upload videos you didn't make or use content in your videos that someone else owns copyrights to, such as music tracks, snippets of copyrighted programs, or videos made by other users. Hmm. I don't think that's the ad one, but, like, that was, like, the one that, like, everybody just kind of scoffed at and was like, whatever. Let's see. Hateful content. Our products are platforms for free expression. Uh-huh. But we don't support content that promotes or condones violence against individuals based or groups based on race, ethnic origin, origin religion, disability, gender, age, nationality, veteran status. That's one you don't hear very often. Or sexual orientation, gender identity, or whose primary pr uh, purpose is inciting hatred on the base of these core characteristics. Did mm -hmm. you say veteran status? Yeah, veteran status. You cannot hate on the veterans. Of YouTube? No, veterans as in, like, war veterans. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, threats, okay. Things like predatory behavior, stalking, threats, harassment, intimidation, inv invading privacy, revealing other people's personal information. You hear that, Snowden? You're on the line on YouTube. Snowden? Uh, you remember that whole, like, WikiLeaks guy? Oh, yeah. Can't post it on YouTube. And inciting others to commit violent acts or to violate terms of use are taken very seriously. And finally, spam. Spam, spam, spam. Everyone hates spam. Don't create misleading descriptions, tags, titles, or thumbnails in order to increase views. You hear that, all you weirdos posting like DeviantArt furry fetish tags? Mmm. <laughs> Not needed by YouTube. You know those people that'll post like incredibly lewd, you know, thumbnails? It's just yeah. like massive amounts of cleavage dumping out and they'll just click on it no matter what it is. It could be called like a hippo walks along the beach. But if it's got cleavage, they're going to expect some girl to be in that video with just two inches of bikini. <laughs> what the heck was that? Did you see that? Oh, I clicked on the window. Sorry, with this? Oh! Dark, go here. <laughs> Can you see that? It's like yeah. the next point. Hey! Well, to be honest, most of that sounds pretty reasonable, but... I don't know, I like picking on veterans. No, 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 uh, look at the ad one. Look at the ad one. Ad one. Maybe guidelines. Blah, 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 blah. Ad guidelines, or something like that. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Product placement ads, advertise. Maybe this is it. You get inspired. Blah, blah, blah. I like target people. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's what you want to hear. Get me on that. Give me the guidelines. Give me this. Is it. This is it. No, no, no. This is just what they brought me to last time. Hmm. Hmm. YouTube ad friendly. Search ah, that. wait. Here we go. I think we I think we've got it. From Vox Culture. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I find specific. To monetize a video, your content, metadata, and thumbnail must be user friendly, contain no graphic content or excessive strong language. That is the words straight from YouTube, everybody. No graphic content or excessive strong language so you know what here's something that I could see YouTube doing what I could see YouTube doing is putting an age limit on videos where they detect swears that's fine by me you know yeah. little kids whatever you know but then people go oh well the kids are just gonna lie on like when they put in their profile you know yeah I'm 18 but they're really like 7 yeah well that's not YouTube's problem you know you're the one lying Let's see. This is actually very interesting. I'm glad you brought my attention to this. Let's see. I think YouTube. Ah, here we go. Philip De... Philip DeFrank... DeFranco tweeted, Seems like YouTube will be stripping most of my advertising from now on. Oh well, I'm not going to censor myself. And YouTube tweeted back, No policy change here, just improved notification procedures to ensure creators can appeal. <laughs> Hmm. 
way. Well, that's certainly stirring the pot. Mm. What do you all think so about this? So mean, man. You know, it's one the one of the biggest problems that YouTube had before this. Yeah. What? Wait, does this mean they're gonna start censoring the angry video game nerd? Oh shit! I didn't think about that. Yeah, they can't censor the angry video game nerd. He is a classic staple of YouTube. But they... They hit PewDiePie. How badly? What exactly happened? I don't know. I heard, like, a few of his videos got demonetized because of... Let's see. Uh... Add... Uh... YouTube. PewDiePie add YouTube. What happened? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, ad blockers, blah blah blah. Also, ad blocker doesn't seem to work on YouTube anymore. I'll bet you if there was one website that had the resources to like code around it, it would be YouTube. Right, but it's really weird. PewDiePie says that YouTube Red is a necessary counterattack to ad blockers. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You know what's weird about PewDiePie is I don't know him too well and I don't watch his videos, not because of any specific reason. I just have other interests aside from him. Um, I'm sure he's quite funny at times and stuff. Yeah. But uh, he doesn't seem to be spending a lot of his money that he makes. I've heard he has kind of like a crummy car and he still lives with like his girlfriend in like an apartment. Which is all smart. I mean, it's smart, but, like, I don't know. If I had, like, four million a year coming in, I would at least get, like, a half-decent house and a car and then sit on the rest. I mean, don't get me wrong. But excessive you're, you're spending. you're financially secured. But the thing is, he's how financially secured do you need to be before you buy a house? I don't know. That's, I think, a very good question. Plus, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if I had that much money, I would, like, invest in, like, buying land. At least in the United States, land. Ooh. You get one specific hill where people want to build a freeway. Man, oh, man, the government will buy that from you for a minute. <laughs> hmm. That feel like show is well. so awful, dude. Here, I've uh, I've been doing something kind of interesting for when I go back to recording uh, my Dark Souls play uh, playthrough. Yes, I'm recording Dark Souls. Go subscribe. Blah blah. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, not, I'm not certain people. Don't worry. I assume people who are watching me already kind of know who I am. If not, hello. Right. Um, but I was uh trying to make my playthrough of Dark Souls a little bit more interesting because I noticed I was mostly talking about tactics, you know, okay, I gotta go fight this boss, and blah, 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 and I hadn't really been telling stories, so what I've been doing for the past two weeks is I've been trying to remember um, interesting stories that have happened throughout my life um, and recording anything interesting that had happened in the meantime. Um, I've got some pretty good stuff in here. If you want to hear about it, I've got something from this last weekend that's quite interesting. Sure. Okay. Um, this last Friday was particularly weird. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I work at, an, at a wedding event center where we have a lot of parties and stuff. Get to work on Friday. I walk in, go to where the bar is. Great start to my day. I found a, I found a dead uh, rat on the floor. Oh, boy. Curled up. Yeah, right near the alcohol. It was really <sighs> scary because all the groomsmen were pretty close by, and if they had just peeked their head over the bar, they would have seen a fucking dead rat. <laughs> oh, it was all stiff too. It'd been there for a while. Oh my gosh. Um, that same night, um, I was walking along and I thought I saw some meat sauce on the floor because we'd served some steak for dinner. Oh but no. The bar. Uh, it was quite uh, liquid. Wasn't meat sauce. It was the poo poo. That poo. To quote Dave Chappelle, 
That's doo doo, baby. It's it was human food. It was unpleasant. At first, I thought it was just like a smell from outside, but uh, yeah. and I was the only one who was not on break, so I had to clean it up and throw away the, the rag in the dumpster and wash my hands with as hot as water as I could get for like 10 minutes. Um, and despite my my efforts to remain as sanitary as possible, my bosses are still going to be buying this like sanitation kit. We yeah. have to wear like gloves and a mask and all that. So, ugh. Um, also, same night, still, that hellish night, the DJ was asked by the crowd at the end of the party, one more song, one more song, and he did it, which is never fun, because then we have to wait around a little bit more for yeah. to finish up. So they finished up, we started going out with bus tubs, one more song, one more song, Again. he plays it, he plays uh, Journey's Don't Stop Believing," which is the typical last song for the night, so we're like, okay, whatever. That's oh, you're probably sick of that song. Oh, every night. Every single night for like the last four years. <laughs> oh. I will be very specific in the songs that I pick if I ever get married. <laughs> very specific. Just so you don't piss off the people catering your wedding? Just so I don't piss myself off. Yes. Ugh. No party rock anthem or Gangnam Style. Really? Ever. Ever. <laughs> really? Oh my god, when Gangnam Style first came out, it was at every wedding. Now it's predominantly just the Korean weddings, but... And even then it's more of an eye roll, like, haha! Wait, you host foreign weddings? Oh yeah, we we do all kinds of stuff. We do proms, we did a kid's first birthday party one time, that was fucking weird. That was weird. Xander, I still remember that kid. <sighs> anyway, uh, Indian weddings, predominantly we host... Uh, Asian weddings, yeah. Um, but we get a few, few like cowboy weddings and stuff. It's I've seen a lot of weird stuff. Um, man, that first birthday, oh, just like two years ago, I guess the family was Indian and they really valued like the first year of life. Yeah. Um, so they threw a huge birthday bash for this kid Xander. It was like a circus theme. Oh my gosh! With like actual jugglers and mimes and like big like plastic tigers and a, a literal ringmaster <laughs> like a guy in a you know um yeah. in overwatch uh mccree's like gambler skin yeah that's what the guy looked like How oh, this is so ridiculous dude would you like me to let you focus because i'm kind of just babbling here no 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 it's relaxing well get ready to be really relaxed because I had to stand and man the popcorn bar for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they really liked, and for some fucking reason, we were giving them Sour Patch Kids. Because, mm, you know, that's what you eat with your popcorn. What? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I got to stand there and watch, I think his name was Eric the Wonderful? Yeah. He, he was actually really impressive. He would juggle plates on a like while riding a unicycle. He was a really talented motherfucker. Ah! Oh my god, <laughs> Roar! Oh my hell, I'm, my I'm starting to understand that jump a little bit more. Keep going. Okay. Um. So just the the night continues. This kid won't even remember this, but they're taking tons of pictures, and then the coup de gras. They have to sing Happy Birthday. But I don't know what was up with this family because they did not sing Happy Birthday. <gasps> no! Oh, no! They did not sing Happy Birthday because they, they did not hit the switch! Sing happy Birthday Roar! <laughs> oh, it's okay, God. it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Anyway, um, they didn't sing Happy Birthday. The Ringmaster was supposed to lead them in what? singing Happy Birthday, but nobody joined in with him. What? So, you know when you like try to sing something and lead people into it, where you sing like kind of with a lilt, like... Yeah, uh, like, birth happy song. birthday, and then you like would extend your hand or something like that? Yeah, like everybody picks it up with you and you get the whole crowd going, happy birthday. Nobody yeah. did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was about 280 people. It was a big extended family. And it was just this one guy in this huge auditorium of like 
again, I, I don't mean to stereotype um, Indian people in general, but when you get kind of older generation Indian people, they don't tend to smile too much. Yeah. They're a little bit more stern with the culture. Yeah. Um, they just watched him like he was a bug. Happy birthday. It, it was just the most awkward thing I have ever experienced in my life. Oh my gosh. It was one of those things where just being in the room makes your own face red like, oh, like, I'm an accessory to this memory, how? <laughs> how did my life come to this? By the way, they spent $100,000 on that part. Oh my god. That's how much it cost to rent the building to get all of the, the props, the jugglers, the cake, everything. By the way, if only one of us has to get off the button, can you please do it? Yes, I, you want me to get off the button? No, 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 I mean, like, if, like, one of us has to get off the button and get to the other side. Yes. I will more than happily, you can sit on that button, Rar, I do not anticipate yours being the worst one, but obviously it is, by it's far. It's just this this jump is so wrong because normally when clearing something you just think oh you gotta keep going forward but you have to go back on your jump it's so weird and you have to get perfectly between those two spikes looking at it rar you have far less jumps than i had to do you have one okay that one's kind of the same but then you have like three or four extra jumps than i had to do But Rar, when you get to that last one, I want you to stop. I want you to pause, okay? Okay. Because you had that. You just walked a little bit too forward. Yeah. You did that thing where that a lot of people do, where they just want to do the jump so much that they move forward rather than jump first, and then move forward. Well, that was really bad. I even clear the, the top of the thing. You know, here's a question that some people might want to know, Rar. Would you ever do another... Um, Super Mario or Mario 64 ROM. ROM hack? Yeah. Oh, I've, I'm I'm doing one right now. Oh, really? Yeah, Night of Doom. How is that? Awful. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you a level of it a after this, and you you can tell me what you think in the next video. <laughs> I really want to know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, with a title like that. Oh, it, it, it holds up to the title very well. Um, as far as I know, only one ROM hack uh, even comes close to difficulty, and that's insanely twist, insanely twisted adventure or something like that. You know, it just goes to show how much respect people have for that, you know, base Mario 64. And there's this Still guy. Still be doing them. There's this guy called Kaze who's basically revamping the Super Mario 64 engine, adding new stuff, new power-ups and stuff like that. Damn. Like, Thank God for communities. He has a level where I think you're inside Jabu Jabu. Ooh! Inside Jabu Jabu or Bowser, one of the two. <sighs> oh. See what I mean? How you have to like go back? Man. You make my hands sweat. Why? When I was telling my story, I was kind of looking off to the side, like trying to focus on telling it correctly, but now I'm just watching you and I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Please go. Please for the love of God, go. Okay. You just sit tight. Whoops. Are we good? We're good. Hey. I don't, I don't. Don't move off that button, Rar. Oh God. Oh. There we are, save. Okay, I can press Game R? Save. I can press R? Yes, yes. Hooray! Oh We've dude, some... look, there's our first secret! Oh god, I thought that was the boss teleportation. Nope, it's or our is it first... a secret? Or wait, maybe that's the boss. It's a Toho girl. Oh boy. That's not a good thing, and I know her, she's a bad one. Next time, guys, we gotta <laughs> conquer Marissa's, I think it is? Somebody. Some, oh god. Some, somebody's... Some Toho weeaboo shit. Oh fun, god. Somebody's fun room. This is weird, there's projectiles too. And they're random. Oh my gosh. Uh, join us next time for more on Be The Co-op.